You can pick your nose, you can pick your toes, but don't pick your friend's nose. Just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. That's so funny, Uncle Charles. Huh? 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 That's so funny. That's so funny. Tell me. You heard it here, folks. A word to the wise. I'm Charles Steyer. This is CherryValleyMusic.com, and this is the third of a three-part series called Pick Control. In this lesson, we're going to we're going to talk about using the pick for actually uh, single notes. In previous times, we've talked about what pick, what kind of pick, where to strum, and in this case, we're going to talk about using the pick for individual notes. Let's move in a little bit closer. So here we are with a close-up of my right hand. I've substituted my regular pick for this snappy red one that'll show up a little bit better against the, the body of the guitar and the strings. We've talked before about whether the hand should be braced or free. Again, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have flexibility and control of the pick, and it's really, truly an individual matter. Now, both picking and strumming, we have what are called downstrokes and upstrokes. A downstroke is obviously when the pick goes down. It's notated in guitar music. Um, either as a pick or a strum, it looks above the music, you'll see something that looks sort of like a staple. It looks like that, a, a notational mark. An upstroke is notated by a V in the music that comes up. But anyway, what we do in playing guitar is a combination, an artful combination, of either downstrokes or upstrokes. Downstrokes or upstrokes, just like we have down, picking, and up picking. Down and up down and up. Now one of the first exercises that's to start is just to practice a combination of alter alternating downstrokes and upstrokes on open strings. Going for an absolute clarity of sound. Now I'm going to show you a, a technique used by actually the old masters to teach picking and to, is that they would put a, a feather in the hands of the student ask them to hold it as if they were writing between the first two fingers and then to move back and forth as if you were writing and as you can see this is a really a brilliant technique because it shows that moving the pick is not a back and forth it is not straight back and forth and this is of profound importance for speed it's really in more of a circular motion with the fingers drawing themselves in as if you were writing with a quill pen now you can do this, and you can see this motion if you just put a chopstick in your hand or a longer, longer pencil. Uh, but I want to show you the old school way with the feather. Back to the pick. Again, it's not just this. It's not back and forth. It's really this, where the pick is moving back and forth in an alternating motion. And by doing that, you can develop super fast technique. Now. Let's, uh, let's move on to a longer shot so I can show you some work down at the open end of the guitar. So in guitar, most of the times, if you're down picking, you're on a down beat. If you're up picking, you're on an up beat. Now this, of course, doesn't apply to everything, but it's, but it's really a general rule. So one thing I'm going to show you here first is we're going to play a chromatic scale, and I'm going to pick way up here on the neck so that you can see that every uh, it's an alternating of downstrokes and upstrokes no matter what note you're on or and especially no matter if you're crossing strings the right hand is always going to be going up and down so let's look at a chromatic scale it's down up down up down now when i move to my a string it's time for an up down up down up again now a down up down up down up down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The right hand always moving like this. The left hand doing what it needs to do. Now I would practice this again really, really slowly and then you can start to do uh, fancier things and get the pick moving more. You can play, you can play it in like a swing rhythm. You can make up rhythms. Whatever it is, just to keep the right hand swinging, moving up and down, and the left hand moving smoothly. The next step is then to play uh, scales. Down, up, 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 down. Of course, you're going to be back here picking in the normal in the normal position, but I want to put my hands up here together so that you can see those moving simultaneously. <laughs> 
So that's it for Pick Control Part 3. I'm Charles Steyer. This is CherryValleyMusic.com. We've been talking about guitar fundamentals. See you at the next lesson.